Is India the only country where such a law exists? No. In Australia, the Terrorism Extraordinary Powers Act came into effect in 2006. This act provides Western Australian police with the necessary powers to prevent a terrorist act from taking place or to be able to appropriately respond in the aftermath of such a terrorist attack. This is in addition to the National Counter-Terrorism Plan. Critics say that these powers go too far in undermining civil liberties without any proof that they make the citizens of Australia safer. The argument put forth was that there is no demonstrated necessity for such a harsh law and the existing norms of investigation and arrest were enough to protect national security. Closer home in Bangladesh, the Special Powers Act was promulgated in 1974. Special measures were provided for prevention of certain prejudicial activities and for conducting speedy trial for certain grave offences. This act provides for preventive detention, trial by special tribunals and provision of sentences of death or life imprisonment for grave crimes. Several political parties in Bangladesh have questioned the need for such a law that is often criticised for its excessive use of force. But successive governments have failed to repeal it. Some political parties have also been accused of using it unfairly to target their political opponents. Next on the list is Northern Ireland. The Civil Authorities Special Powers Act of Northern Ireland came into effect shortly after the establishment of Northern Ireland back in 1922. The act empowers certain authorities of the government to take steps for preserving the peace and maintaining order in this region. The act was brought in the context of violent conflict over the issue of partition of Ireland, but its sweeping powers made it highly controversial and was seen as a tool of oppression used to restrict and suspend civil liberties. It was in July 1973 that this law was revoked, only to be replaced by legislation that was termed to be equally oppressive. It was called the Northern Ireland Emergency Provisions 